guys, so I'm going to come on here with my April, um, like all the makeup that I'll be wearing. And I've kind of got behind on all this. Normally I have it out by now, but I'm kind of slow, so I do apologize. Um, so a lot of the eyeshadows are the same. So I'm just going to, I'll go in here and show you all the eyeshadows that I'll be wearing. <clears throat> so, okay. I'm still using these, um, these e.l.f. Um, little quad palette things. I'll, I absolutely love these. These are like my favorite. This one's in the color um, neutrals. And like these are all that I have left because I've like used them all up since like this winter and then this coming uh, spring. So I love these and they're just the best. And then this one's in um, rocker and I have it on now. It's the purple and the black. Um, those two colors. And my nails look like crap. I need to get them. I need to get these off. So just overlook it. But I do love um, those colors together. They pair up perfect. And then um, this one's in Ocean Dreams. This one here is like, I love it. It's just blue and it's just beautiful. I do love that one. <clears throat> um, let's see, is that all of them? And then just for, just to have like some browns and different colors, and like this one has a few pinks pinks in it. This one's the Color Me Glow in the Profusion, and it's got all these colors. So got those. Then I have this LA Colors. Um, And I've never tried this one, but I wanted to try it because it's got these bright spring colors. So I got that. Then, let's see. I also picked out this. This is a Revlon um, in Luxurious. It's a Revlon Luxurious color, and it's starry pink. So I got that one. And it's got a, a, like a little bit of shimmer to it, so I thought that would be pretty for spring. Then I picked out, this is, let's see, I think, yeah, this is an eyeshadow palette. This one came from Ipsy, and it's just got your neutral colors. Everyone knows that I do, like, neutrals, like, all the time. And then, let's see. I still have this Hard Candy um, eyeshadow and Space Cat it. This is just a beautiful, like, um, greenish color. And it's got, like, a little bit of shimmer to it. And I paired that up with um, this whenever I wore it. This color here. Which is a cute color. And then I have this... Um, this is a Galaxy Chic, and it's, um, what color is this? This is in the color, I don't know, it's a baked eyeshadow. And it looks like this. That's a bit, like, dark, so I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I figured I'd give that a try, too, because it is a pretty color, so maybe, like, a smoky look or something. And then, let's see, for blushes, um, I've been, like, really loving this. Um, and I won this in a giveaway, like, a long time ago. And I've got stuff all over this. Um, this is by Laura Geller, I guess that's how you pronounce it. But it's just this color here. And my primer has spilled out in my makeup case. But it's that color. And it gives you a pretty color so I've been it's it's a bit dark and I need to rub it in a little bit but I do love this so and this this is in the color blush and Brighton sunswept and I also picked out this um, beauty benefits blush I don't I haven't tried this yet um, but I just got this one to try too for this spring 
And then for blushes, or not blushes, but for powders and stuff, I'm still using this It Cosmetics. And like days that where I don't feel like putting on like foundation and stuff, I'll just watch some of this over my face and I'm ready to go. So that's perfect for that. And also got this. I absolutely love this. This is the e.l.f. Um, it's like the shimmering glow stuff. Crap. Body shimmer is what it is. I'm all out of sorts today. But it's, it just looks like this. And it gives you a real pretty, um, you know, like shimmer effect. Which I like putting it on my face sometimes. And then I have this Revlon Age Defined. This is in like a medium deep. And it's it's a face powder. But however, um, I don't think that I'll be putting this on for powder. I'll just be doing like maybe like for like a bronzer or something. Because it's kind of dark for me. So that's what I want to do with that. I want to give it a try and see how that turns out. Since that it's getting um, like warm weather. When I start getting tanned, I don't really wear like a lot of makeup so probably when it gets closer to summer I'll probably just be using like eyeshadow even probably not even much eyeshadow but like I don't know just most of the time in the summertime I don't wear makeup because like we're outdoors a lot um the only time that I will wear is like if we're at church like going to church or like you know going to somewhere spe special then I also have this this is a um Something has like totally spilt in my freaking bag. I don't even know what it is. This is the Mosaic um, face powder from the Dollar Tree. And I still haven't tried this, but I've heard a lot of people like really like that. So, can't wait to try that. Um, for foundation, I picked out, I got this at the flea market like Sometimes the flea, um, at the flea markets, they set up these like little like Avon shops and stuff. And this was only a dollar, which this stuff's like eight or nine dollars in Avon. This is the Avon Magic Magics in the cashmere finish in ivory. So I got that, and this stuff works really good. Whenever um, I used to wear Avon a lot, I would get this, and it's really good stuff. So I got that for foundation. And also this Philosophy Miracle Worker that my friend had sent me in a friend, uh, like a friend swap. And I still hadn't used that yet. So that's what I'll be using on that. Also have this um, Alme, um Smart Shade. It's like a bronzer. I've never really used a bronzer like this on my cheeks. It's like in liquid form. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. And this one's in Sun Kissed. And it's number 40. So see how that one works and then for um, eyeshadows I'm still using this um, Calvin Klein one mascara and this LA colors um, volume mascara and this Mega Plush Volume Exper um, from the Dollar Tree. This stuff here is really good. However, it's a little bit light. So, it's okay, I guess. I'm kind of getting bummed out on those uh, mascaras. So, it's about time for me to change those up. And then, I've, I've really been liking this one, though. This is the Mega Protein Mascara. And it's very black. This stuff just goes on so, like, really good. And you don't get, like, the clumps and stuff. So, I'm, I'm really digging this one. And this one's just one of those Dollar Tree um, ones as well. And I've also been liking this one. This one's the CoverGirl um, in very, very black blaze. And I can't remember which one this one is. I got this one. Oh, this one's the Flamed Out. And this one actually works pretty good too. I actually used this one today. But I just put like two coats because I wasn't really in the mood of put, putting on makeup. Um, and I also picked out this shimmering facial whip. I'm not really a fan on like liquid um, stuff going on your face. It just feels so freaking weird other than like, you know, foundation. So I don't, I don't really like stuff like this and I don't really like stuff like um, liquid or like gel eyeshadow. I'm just weird like that. 
I also have this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer because I ran out of the other one that I was using. And um, this is, I forgot to show you, this is an e.l.f. pigment eyeshadow. And I have no idea why I have that in there. I must have wanted to use it for something. Um, let's see what else was there. And I'm still just using this e.l.f. shimmer eyeliner pencil. For eyeliner along with like these um, Milani ones these are like really good so that's all of the makeup and I thought I had some lip products I don't even know so I picked out a few lip products I think I put them in my um, pocketbook or something I don't know no oh, here they are and like, one day I had reached for this just to try because it's a neutral color and it's Milani. This crap stunk. And I had purchased this a while back and it's just horrible. I cannot put this crap onto my lips. It's horrible. It smells like, um, you know, like a, like the vanilla flavoring that you put, like you cook with. It smells like that being like, like, like went bad. Oh, this crap's getting in the garbage. I, I can't deal with it. Mm -mm. And since I used up a lot of my makeup or my lip products, I picked out several more just to put in my pocketbook because <clears throat> I like having them in there. I picked out this CoverGirl um, lip gloss in, what is this in? Can't see it. It's in Beam Resplendor. I guess that's it. But anyways, it's just like a typical lip gloss. I'm a gl gloss kind of girl, so pick that out. And then I picked out this. This is a real pretty color. I think this is one of the sassy and chic ones. And this one's in uh, Brilliant, and it's just like a light pink. But there's no I noticed there's like not much product in here. Like it's like, I don't know. And I just bought this, and I've not even tried it. So, but it's a real pretty color. I picked that out. I picked out this Ruby Slipper Elf um, liquid lip gloss. This stuff's the bomb. Like, this is my favorite lip glosses in the whole wide world. So, I got that one. And then this uh, L'Oreal in Hibiscus. I think this might be one of those color stay lip. Um, that's a lipstick there. And then these two soft lips. These just make your lips feel real soft and smooth. I have one in cherry and one in strawberry and banana. So I got those two. And then the last one that I have is in berry punch. And it's the Skittles one. So I picked all of those out. And that is like the makeup that I'll be using for April. Um, I didn't really add a whole, whole lot because I'm just trying to get rid um, get these um elf eyeshadows used up but anyways until next time i will talk to y'all later and i hope y'all are having a good day bye